Hello, this is Patrick, and welcome to some more Tesla news. Tesla breaking news. Elon just tweeted out a bunch of stuff this Sunday afternoon. We talked about the new superchargers and the Model Y unveiling. So first off, the supercharger version three, they're gonna be debuting the first public version of it this Wednesday at 8 p.m. California time. That, that'll be cool. Elon was saying before that 350 kilowatt was like a child's toy. And then he was saying at a conference call that maybe, you know, more like just double the 120, so we're like in the 200 range would be more realistic just because of the trade-offs. When you're doing, you can't, you can do super fast charging, but then there's issues with the type of battery chemistry you could use and there's different trade-offs and it'll be interesting to see what they came out with. But regardless of what they're doing, I'm sure it's gonna be a significant improvement and I can't wait to see what it is. <laughs> what do you guys think it's gonna be? What are they gonna be showing off on Wednesday? What's, are they gonna be showing the CCS in addition to the regular Tesla? Are they gonna be using those water-cooled cables? Are they just gonna allow for more um, capacity at each charger so each stall can do the full, you know, like 120 or maybe they can, each go up to 200 or so, something cool like that that would speed up a full charging station regardless of you know how old the battery packs are that are trying to be charged because Elon had stated that Teslas that were made more currently can, will be able to charge at a faster rate. So probably the Model 3s and who knows about the Model S's and X's probably the last couple years will get some kind of a, a speed bump on, on how fast they can charge. The other big news is the Model Y unveiling March 14th. A year ago, Elon was saying it was probably gonna be around March 13th. So he's only a day off. And it's gonna be in Hawthorne Design Studio for Tesla. Then Elon proceeded to give away a bunch of juicy details on what Model Y is gonna be. The Model Y being an SUV is about 10% bigger than a Model 3. So it'll cost about 10% more and have slightly less range for the same battery. It has a slightly higher frontal facial area and it affects the air friction mass, rolling resistance, and hill climb physics is the law. <laughs> uh, he also said it's going to have normal doors, so no falcon wing doors. I know they're hit or miss with people. I love the falcon wing doors, but I could see on a more mass market thing, I wish it would be optional, but it sounds like it's not even going to be an option. They, he also said that it's going to look close to what the Model 3 looks like and that they're going to be doing the details and specs, of course, during the unveiling, starting production sometime in 2020 for mass production. And it's gonna be built at the Gigafactory in Nevada and also over in China. He also stated that the truck unveiling was not gonna be at this event, that's gonna be a separate event that's happening later this year. And he also tweeted that he, personally he's the most excited about the truck. He says maybe it'll be too futuristic for most people, but I love it, is what Elon was saying. I can't wait for the truck. I think I don't know. I guess I'm also more excited about the truck, but the why? I think that's going to be the real mass market thing in my area. I think everybody wants an SUV. They don't necessarily want the Model 3. So I can't wait to see what they're going to show off and, and what the options are and pricing. I mean, it's probably around $40,000 to start instead of thirty-five. dollars What do you guys think? Uh, I'll keep, I'll, I'll post more information as I get it on Wednesday about the supercharger, and then uh, hopefully I'll be able to go down to the event. I do have an invitation, so. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you hadn't, and you can email me on pox at wildwestev.com, or you can tweet me on Twitter, at, at walkingcrow. See you guys next time. Thanks, bye.